The next thing we're going to look at is what we call our shoe transporting points. So we do know, and it's written in the Naijing, that we have a certain order to the points, right? Okay, the bottom is going to be the yang point, the top is going to be yin. Okay, so here we have yin and yang. Okay. So what does that mean? It means that the first point here on the yin meridian is going to be what? Wood. Okay. The next point is fire, and then earth, and then metal, then water. Why? Anybody have a reason why it's written like that? And don't just say because it's written in Ni the Naijing. It is written in the Naijing, but let's try to figure out why. One of the things we should think about is, imagine our, a meridian has an amount of chi that flows through it. It's a canal of chi, okay? So the further we move away from the body, the smaller the canal is getting, the smaller the vessel is getting. It's getting more condensed, okay? It's having less volume. However, there's the same amount of chi within the body, within the whole meridian. Okay, so for example, here at the Hussi point, I might have chi that takes th that many circles, let's say it's 20 circles. Here, 20 circles will be more condensed. Here, they'll be even more condensed. Here, even more condensed. And here, they'll be at its most condensed point. Does that make sense? that we have the same amount of energy, the same, the same amount of chi, but we're becoming more and more reduced in the amount of space we have to express it. So the chi becomes more compact, more dense. What happens to energy when we make it more dense? It becomes hot and it becomes more volatile. Okay? So the further we are away from the body, the more volatile the chi is. Does that make sense? Would you say that again? The further we are, the further distally we are yeah. from the body, the more volatile the chi becomes. When something is volatile, it can be influenced. So we're going to start by looking here at the yin line, right? So for example, all the points, all the first five points are from the elbow to the hand on the yin meridian. We have wood, fire, earth, metal, water, right? Okay. So why do, why are they in this order? Well, this is a yin meridian, okay? What element is the most yin? Water. Water. So what I want is I want to have the water element being already constructed at the end. Because that's what I want to be going in. If you imagine the chi is coming into the body, okay? So if here it's at its most yang point, I want it to be its most yin influence as it gets closer to the body. Okay. At the same time, we know that in the hands and fingers, right, this is where it has to change polarity. So I need it to be quite volatile, quite close to being a yang point, okay, at the end for it to turn to, for it to go from yin to yang. <coughs> so I need to have the wood at the end, which is yang influencing yin, which is about to become fire, which is about to become extreme yang. So this is a good place for it to change over here. Okay. And I need it to be water or the most yin when it's closest to the body, because that's its function. It's a yin meridian. Does that make sense? So if I put wood and water here, okay, obviously I'm going to follow the same order. So wood, 
then fire, then earth, then metal, then water. Okay? The earth point, the shoe point on yin meridians, what is special about it? Source. It is the Yuan source point. Okay? So, what do Yuan source points do? What is, their, what is their function when we say a Yuan source point? The Yuan source point's function is to remind the meridian of its original function. Okay? So, it's bringing it back to its source, it's bringing it back to its original function. You use the Yuan points when, the, when that meridian is out of doing what it's supposed to do. It's a reminder to what its heavenly influence, because the Yuan Qi is also sometimes called source or heavenly Qi, it's what its heavenly influence is telling it to do. Okay? So here, if I influence Earth, remember Earth is in the center, it's neutral. So this is the best time to remind the body of its function. It's not yin, it's not very yang, it's not very yin, it's completely neutral. Okay? So that is why the earth point is the yuan source point. Make sense? So here we have the wood, fire, earth, metal, water. Okay? So, we're going to do the same idea for the yang meridians. However, it changes a little bit, for one specific reason. Here we have water as the most influential point going into the body, most proximal to the body, okay? And we have wood as the most distal to the body. Here, we're going to change it. We can't have fire being the most proximal point. What would happen if fire was the most proximal point to the body? If it was too yang, we would all burn. Okay? Yang needs to be above. Right? So we can't have fire being the last point. So we use earth just to temper down the fire a little bit. So earth is the last point, And fire is just before it. Okay? 